All right, hi everybody, I'm back. It's Mike Norman. Welcome back to Mike Norman Economics. And today, a very quick lesson. I'm going to talk about how banks make loans and in essence how banks create money. You know, most of what we call money is created in the banking system. It is checking deposits and uh, credit, other forms of credit. Uh, but I want to talk specifically about how banks make loans because this is a very misunderstood concept and people when they think about banks they think about the movie and you probably have all seen the movie it's a wonderful life with Jimmy Stewart when he ran the Bailey building and loan and that was essentially a savings and loan that's different from a commercial bank and there's a scene in there where Jimmy Stewart uh, as George Bailey um, staves off a bank run he had all of his customers coming in and demanding uh, their deposits back and this was at a time of the depression and he was he had just enough money to give some people back a part of what he owed them but it was this concept of you know I deposit my money and my money goes to fund the uh, perhaps the uh, uh, the house of your neighbor uh, or to go for a similar to sort of uh, lending uh, but in a commercial bank situation that is not the case and loans are literally created out of thin air. The bank deems uh, a potential borrower as a good credit risk and accepts, in essence, an IOU by the borrower. At that point, the bank merely establishes a checking account in the name of the borrower. It, was not, it is not, in actuality, taking its deposits and then lending it uh, you know, taking my deposit and lending it to somebody, it just creates a checking account in the name of the borrower who desires to have an IOU, a loan, with the bank, and the bank deems that person worthy of the IOU, and hopefully the interest rate that the bank charges on that loan is enough to cover the risk over the duration of the loan. And that's pretty much it. And you know, when we talk about money, the, the money supply um, here in an economy like America's economy, really what most people are referring to, and they don't, they don't really understand this, are demand deposits, uh, checking accounts, other forms of credit, all created in the banking system. The banks do this without uh, any sort of constraint, really. I mean, a bank needs to have a certain amount of capital. Those are standards imposed by the government. But it's not even the amount of reserves that matter. As you can see, because the bank created out of thin air an account, a checking account, uh, for the borrower, at the same time it created its own reserves. 10% of that can now be held as reserves. So, um, and it's all on accounting. It's on, it's on a spreadsheet, basically. It's on an accounting basis. Uh, so when we hear about all this talk of the Fed printing money and we uh, miss, that's a misunderstanding because really what is happening in that case is that the Fed, as the interest rate setter in the economy, uh, manipulates reserve balances either up or down to achieve a desired interest rate. In this case, if it wants a 0% interest rate, it has to manipulate reserve balances up. But that is independent, pretty much, of uh, the ability of banks to produce or create money. I mean, if a bank sees a business opportunity in making a loan, well, guess what? It's going to make that loan. And that's merely all that loan is, is a contractual agreement between a borrower and the bank and at the point where the bank feels satisfied that this guy or this business is a good risk, the bank just simply establishes a checking account in the name of that business or that person out of thin air and there is your loan. So the real money creators in the economy are the banks. And we ought to remember that every time we hear these nonsensical articles and comments and statements by the media and others, our lawmakers, <laughs> our policy makers about this printing money idea because this is all part of the uh, destructive belief system that is uh, really undermining our ability 
not just to get out of this crisis, but to live in this country at the level that we should live, given all of our resources and all of our capital. Well, that's it for this lesson, How Banks Create Money. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, keep the comments coming. Love it. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.